generate Appium tests on Genymotion virtual devices in the cloud, you'll first need to automate the starting and stopping of those devices. For that, you'll use a tool called GMSAS. First, you'll need to list the devices that are available from this command line. Here we have a list of all the devices provided by Genymotion, including those that are pre-configured. So for example, if you need any dependencies, such as play services or any other dependencies for your tests, you can pre-configure your device with those set up and save it as a template. Here you'll need to start a device that is already pre-configured, which is called Riddle App. You can get the ID of this template used to start your device. So you can use one device and call it Test. Now you can start another device, let's call it Test1. You will see here on the left that those devices are being started. You can first see the tester on the left, and then here on the right. Then you can display the devices here. You'll see the first and the second. You can see when the device is started, you get an ID. This ID allows you to connect to those devices. So for example, here if you run ADB devices, there's nothing there. So you're not connected to any device in the cloud. If you want to connect to a device in the cloud, run GMSAS instances ADB connect. You can also use this optional parameter, ADB Serial Port, which is really handy for Appium tests because you already know in advance the ID of the device that you used in your UDID capability. So you're going to add this one, then copy the other ID, and then connect to the other device. You're now connected to the devices. Now when you go to ADB Devices, you'll see that your two devices are started with this fixed ID number. You can see one, two, three, four, five, you have the ID, which is always localhost colon the port number. So now that it's shown there, you can also check it there. Your devices are started with these A and B serial numbers. Now the devices are connected. Your PC is connected to your devices in the cloud. Everything is in place to start the Appium tests. So if you're already familiar with running Appium tests on local devices, you don't need to change anything in your source code. Just put the right ID of the devices in the UDID desired capabilities of your Appium tests. Now start an Appium server. Once your Appium server is started, you can run your tests. So for the details on the Appium source code and this sample, you could refer to our Medium blog post www.bit.ly backslash gmappium. Okay, so let's just run these tests here you can see that the Appium server is communicating with the devices in the cloud through ADB commands. So what it will do, it will start the Riddle app and it will do some automation on it. Now your test is finished and it was successful. Once your tests are finished, you'll need to stop them. To do this, you stop the device using its ID. And you'll see that your devices are now stopped. Jenny Motion makes your life easier.